Today we will be discussing about the mystery in Jesus name. The mystery in Jesus name. Because a lot of people did not understand the power, the magnitude, the volume, the quality, the authentic, the potent, the name of Jesus is. That is why a lot of people prayed and be doubting whether their prayer will be answered or not. The answer to that question is because they don't know the mystery in Jesus' name. They don't know the mystery in Jesus' name. That is in Jesus' name. That Jesus' name they are calling. They don't know the mystery. Today we'll be discussing about it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my Facebook page. God bless you. All the children of God watching this message, follow me on my Facebook page. Subscribe to my YouTube channel at Antonin Ministry TV. And also, share this message. Share the message. Let everybody see this message. If you are a child of God, let's join hands together to save lives. You are blessed. The mystery in the name of Jesus. The Bible makes us to understand. Jesus told us and said, I am not saying that I will talk to Father on your behalf. I will not pray to Father on your behalf. But whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, you shall receive it. Whatsoever you will ask the Father in my name, you shall receive it. That is to say, we must first understand how to pray. How to pray. Before we understand the power that is in our prayer, through the name or in the name of Jesus we pray. So, if you watch this message now, make sure you find the message the same, another message that talks about how to pray. That two messages go together. How to pray and the mystery in the name of Jesus. So you try to listen the two, for the two messages. It will bless your soul. So because Jesus told us that he will not ask the Father anything for us. But whatsoever we shall ask the Father in his name. That is why even a prostitute may be in a dream. A harlot may be in, in a dream and the, and the demons are pursuing her, pursuing her, pursuing her. If she can be able to shout, Jesus, the demons will leave her. To tell us there is power, authentic power, potent, omnipotent power lies in the name of Jesus. I say that a child of God, a child of God, that Satan cannot hinder it. Satan cannot hinder the prayer of a child of God. There is nothing like Satan hinder the prayer of a child of God. Satan cannot do that. I, 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 I explain it very well. Because every child of God's prayer carries two, three forces. Three forces. Three forces that back the prayer of every child of God. Number one force that back the prayer of every child of God is the word of God, which Satan cannot hinder. Satan cannot stop the word of God. Satan tremble because the child of God will be praying in with the word of God. Number two power force that follow the prayer of a child of God is the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus, which Bible told us that at the name of Jesus, every nail shall bow. So Satan demons, witchcraft, which is and which are they bow. So when a child of God pray in the name of Jesus, they bow. Number three, force that accompany that name is the blood of Jesus. Bible makes us to understand that we overcome him by the words of our testimony and by the blood of the Lamb. By the blood of the Lamb. So there is no power on earth who can hinder. The, the prayer of a child of God being accompanied and assisted with the word of God, the, the name of the Lord, and the blood of Jesus. So, but we are discussing about the mystery that is in the name of Jesus Christ. What does it mean and why do God tell us to pray in the name of Jesus? When we check all the prayers of Jesus on his earthly ministry, 
none of his prayer, no one single prayer of Jesus that was unanswered. Jesus never experienced unanswered prayer. Jesus never experienced a hindered prayer. Satan never once in his life stopped the prayer that Jesus prayed in his earthly ministry. Remember that. And that is why the Bible said, as Jesus is, so we are. That is to tell us that even Satan cannot stop your prayer. So we must know the power in the name of Jesus, the mystery behind there. So now, why do God allow us to pray in his name? When we are praying in the name of Jesus, what do you mean? It means that Jesus himself is the one that is praying. Praying in the name of Jesus means Jesus gave us his name. The highest access we have to God is the name of Jesus. When Jesus was about to leave his disciples, he did not give them money. As many Christians are looking for money here and there today. When Jesus was about to leave his disciples, he did not give them cars. He did not give them material things. He did not promise them wealth, but he told them something. Whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name. So you can ask for money, you can ask for miracle, you can ask for healing, you can ask for signs and wonder in the name of the Lord and you will receive it. But the problem is that many people pray, they don't know the mystery behind that name. It means that anytime you pray, whosoever you may be that prays, immediately you surrender that your prayer to Jesus. You say, in Jesus' name I pray. It means automatically God is no longer seeing you being the one praying. God is seeing Jesus. And the, Jesus never one day asked God for anything and God said no. It means that you have you. Jesus is the one that is praying that prayer. Jesus is the one that is praying that prayer. So immediately you say, in the name of Jesus, knowing what the Bible said that Jesus is sitting at the right hand of Father. He is sitting at the right hand of Father. It means that when you say, in the name of Jesus, what will Jesus do? He will turn to Father. He is the one that asks him. You get it. You get it. So remove the mindset that demon is stopping my prayer that is why this platform god established this platform for any child of god that want to know the truth of the bible for any child of god that want to be powerful in this in spirit for any child of god that want to know how spirit realm works for any child of god that wants to know how the kingdom of god operates because I see many things the way they, they, they promote Satan these days. Even some preachers ignorantly promoting Satan on the pulpit of God. Telling the congregation how powerful Satan is. That is why I advise you to follow me on this page. Follow me on this channel. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow my Facebook page. Let us grow together and know what the Bible said. Satan is not powerful the way you think. Satan is helpless. He's not powerful. Satan is not powerful. But your ignorance because you don't know who you are in God. You know, I said that anybody that wants to benefit much from God must know two things. You must know who God is. How powerful God is. You must know God very well. Then after knowing God, number two, you must know who you are in Christ. You must know who you are in Christ if you will benefit much from the kingdom of God. Because the kingdom of God is not a kingdom of ignorant ones. Kingdom of God is a kingdom of knowledgeable people. Kingdom of wise people. is the, the kingdom where wisdom dwells. So in the kingdom of God, the ignorance is not found there at all, at all. So if you must benefit much from God, you must know who you are. So now, make sure you look for a message that will talk about the secret for permanent deliverance. Look for that message. The secret for permanent deliverance. Look for that message on Facebook and search for it on YouTube. It's everywhere. So now, this one, the praying in the name of Jesus. When I want to pray, prayer is not all about shouting. Prayer is all about understanding. For instance, 
if your son wants to ask you for anything, your son don't need to shout. Your son will just come to your secret place, maybe on your bedroom, and say, Daddy, Mommy, I am looking, I need this, I need that. You will provide it for your son because he's your son. Likewise, when we go to God in prayer. So when we pray in the name of Jesus, oh, God will not say no. Neither will do or hinder it. Neither will set and hinder it. Neither will the power in, the, in heaven or power on earth or marine or, or wishes and wizards attack that prayer. No, no, no. There is nothing like that. Satan can only operate if we are ignorant. That is why I advise every one that is watching this message i advise you that is watching this message to go for god's word because if you don't know who you if you don't know who you are in god and don't know who god is to you you must know who god is to you who is god and who god is to you and also know who you are in christ two of them goes together if you don't know it satan will frustrate your christian life devil will frustrate you in different measure it will come to a stage you begin to ask yourself a question why all these things happening to me like many people that are say asking god god why god why why do you allow this to happen to me because they are ignorant and there is no how you will know who god is better there is no how you will know who you are in christ without you reading the scripture jesus said such the scripture for in it you think it you know all of me you know about me because in the scripture scripture tell us who god is and the scripture also make us to know who we are to god so now pray in the name of jesus is the highest highest blessing or highest assurance god gave to us Somebody can, may say, oh, why Christ did not give us wealth? Why Christ did not leave gold and silver for us physically, for us to have it? Why God, Christ did not command the uh, command, uh, motors, uh, cars, and the favor and everything to surround us physically so that anytime we need it, we go there and collect it? But you don't know that the name, there is a total package in the name. The name of the Lord supersedes the whole thing you are looking for. So when you come to God, you say, in Jesus' name, oh, God will give what to you what you are looking for. That is why Jesus said, well, whosoever that will ask anything without doubting and believe that he has received what he asked, he or she, that individual, shall have all he asks from the Lord. So from today, change your mindset, change your thinking concerning prayer. Remove your, your mindset that demons are hindering your prayers. Change it. Remove your mentality that set and hijack your prayer. Change it. I'm going to drop the message that talk about between the, between the difference between the old covenant dispensation and the new covenant dispensation. The difference between the both. I will drop that message soon. So because there are many things that happen in Old Testament that can never happen now. Because in Old Testament, Jesus had not died on the cross. That, had, that blood of Jesus has not been shed on the cross. So there was a lot of things, a lot of power set and exercise in Old Covenant, under Old Covenant. That sometimes some preachers are still preaching it on the pulpit in this new covenant. Say, talking about the way it set and hinder the prayer of Daniel. You remember? But now we are going to explain it well because Satan cannot be able to do that anymore. Sometimes they told us the way Satan afflicted Job. You know, you know, Job. You know all the things that Job went through because Job was a righteous man, a man that feared God, and Satan still afflicted his life and his finance. But now, under this new covenant, Satan cannot do that again because the blood of Jesus had been shed. You remember that Job was praying and said, Oh, I wish there is a mediator between me and God. So Job knew that he was looking for Christ, but it was not the time for Jesus to be revealed. Job said, I wish there is a mediator between me and God. And you remember that Jesus is a mediator between us and God. So there are some things that happen in the covenant that cannot happen now. That is why you look for this, my message, I will drop it soon. The difference between the old covenant dispensation and no covenant dispensation and it will bless your soul so from today anytime you are praying be rest assured satan cannot hinder your prayer because you are praying in the name of jesus and when you pray in the name of jesus 
as God did not allow one of Jesus' prayer to be unanswered, so shall that prayer you are going to pray in the name of Jesus be. Satan cannot stop it. Please do me a favor to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on my Facebook Facebook page, the same name, Anthony Ministry TV. Join me in sharing this message to many people. Let everyone hear it and let's join hands together to save lives. God bless you.